The owner of a dojo is now under investigation after taking students money and then suddenly closing up shop. But tonight, Taking Action reporter Jackie Calloway speaks to a local businessman who's stepping in to try to make things right. To Kia. Nanad Omerovich opened traditional Taekwondo nearly 20 years ago. Nanad says he teaches his students there's more to the sport than black belts and self-defense. It's not just kick and punch. It's about much more than the martial arts. It's courtesy, integrity, perseverance, self-control, and dominant spirits. That's why this martial arts master said he wanted to take action after he saw our story on another dojo back in February. Students and parents told us owner Edward Chu closed Integrity Taekwondo without warning. A lot of people opening a school just for short term. Quick business. Are you the gentleman that runs Integrity Taekwondo? Parents accused Chu of taking hundreds of dollars for classes, uniforms and belts that he never provided. I would like to see my kids get what they deserve. At the time, the owner refused to answer our questions about any refunds. I have no idea what you're talking about, but thank you. The sheriff's office says its investigation into a credit card fraud case involving Shu is ongoing. Two, three, Meanwhile, Nanad says he's offering a month of free classes at traditional Taekwondo and free uniforms to any students affected by Integrity's closing. So they can come and try out to help them, whatever we need, I would work with them. I reached out to Edward Chu, but have yet to hear back. The state does not regulate dojos, so three things you need to do before signing up. Check online reviews, also talk to other students to see what their experience has been, and avoid signing a long-term contract. Ask if you can pay month to month. I'm Jackie Calloway, taking action for you.